Hello and welcome. It is the second day of April 2017. My name is Derek and welcome. Let's take a look at the daily, the weekly, and the monthly charts. And written on the top part, the marathon as this run for many years, which will continue to go uh, continue further, seems to be such. The marathon and the central banking uh, fiasco going on, the the awareness of how it's made and how silver has been money in the past has its value all that store of thing it's manipulation for the prices lower that game is the marathon that i'm talking about and we'll leave energy for the end where there's nothing wrong trying to move the speed of a snail or at least that of a turtle because well a snail is but the smallest animal that i know of and it's very, very, very slow. And I guess this could be moving slower, but 1.27% volatility, median down to 1.87. Interesting, interesting to say the least. So as far as this analysis, you come up to Fibonacci, no resistance, no support, and no fast move to the next key high. So of the key things that I'm looking for, no, no, and no. So very interesting to say the least. We may still come down find support at this level and then continue to go higher and maybe monday tuesday is going to make a move in here but uh, there's a difference between a fast move at a turtle size move but that's exactly at the marathon to the whole point because i do believe as months and maybe even continually more years go by that it will be moving the speed of a leopard but right now much, much, much slower. We'll see how well these key areas come into support, but it, uh, the next key test is that of 1854. Mark is correct either sideways or through, or through price. This is a sideways correction. So buying up here on the first time it came up to about this 18 and a quarter level, and well, it's a little extended. Not as nice as it is today because when you have this sideways action like this, you're basically ready, 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 easy to say, for the pop. And you would expect here a pop on the upside to go to 1854, which is a gain of about uh, a little over a percent pop, or a huge drop from this level. And you'd be going from the area of about uh, 18 all the way down to about... Uh, uh, well, 1787, that's about a percent or so. A big, big, big drop, big drop that would be. Given the micro volatility that it is encountering, let's move on to the weekly chart. I want to start with this candle here. This situation, not, this is the last time this has happened. Now, what is this? The answer is... The, this is the last time that there's been a sandwich period, meaning a green candle sandwiched with two red ones, or even that of a red candle sandwiched between two green candles. And I'm trying to find one right now. I think this is the last red candle sandwiched with the green one. What this means is since this point, down, 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 then three up, four down, two up, two down, nine up, two down, and now three up. Another way of stating consecutively this, uh, the up streaks and down streaks are coming into play. So this might be the last time, it looks like this is the last situation in which there has been one week down in a row over a year ago interesting interesting to say the least okay within this chart here the current phase is a band breakout to test the 18 and a half level for change in trend via further breaks so it's close to this level it's not really a pierce below but it's almost is it's definitely a clear break above this 18 average band for sure and if it does go down now, this whole area 
in here. Yeah, it's support as it was before. Well, I think what's important in a situation where if you leave this band like this, but you barely leave it, that you'd want to correct between the 18 average of highs and the 18 average of closes. But for now, it looks as if the momentum is going to move towards this level. And then when you're there, okay, and now what situation as the daily chart was within it? Let me go back to it. The now what? Are you going to resist? No. Okay. Are you going to support it? No. Okay. Are you going to shoot up fast to the next level? No. Usually it does one of them. So you're at the then what situation. Okay. Are you going to resist it, which is come back to the band? Are you going to find support, which is breaking above and then not that much above, but coming back? Or are you going to go to the next level? And the next level in this case would be into the 19s. So that's the type of way that I look at this market. If uh, this area eventually fails and you're looking at a super failed breakout where you got above it, came back to support and then broke out above again, that doesn't happen too often. So I really do like the chances that this thing uh, does make a move into this level without really going much below for or even for that long the 18 average of closes let's now move this on to the monthly chart and the month of march stayed within this 18 average of bands but you know what so did the previous four months as well the trend during the entire decline was the same for the most part it was make a leg lower and then resist for a long time in the band. Leg lower, resist for a long time in the band. Now the change has come into play. You break higher, establish the level of resistance, coming back to support. And well, if I was to ever make a textbook for technical analysis and trying to teach things out, it's like this market is doing it for me because you're doing it like in the such perfect level, the continued downtrend, the market sideways, a very nice eye break above that doesn't go too low above the level, which is like right here, and doesn't go too high above the level, which would be anywhere here and above. So it has a perfect level for where I'm looking to go. You come back into the band perfectly where it doesn't go below the 18 average of lows really at all. Spends a sufficient amount of time within such. So to continue the textbook move, well, you have to make a move here and then you go to the then what situation. Are you going to resist this back to the band? Are you going to come back and support it like this? Or are you going to have a fast break, which would be a move above this level into the high 20s at least. And to finish this off, I want to let's look at this a little more clearly, zoom in on this a little bit, and I'm going to put this on the upper left corner in here, just this little area. There we have it. So in here we can see within the actual band move again, you establish this resistance of sideways movements within this higher area that ultimately didn't hold one, two, three weeks, excuse me, months down in a row to the area where like, okay, we got a bottom here, move up to this point, to the 18 average of highs, and then this candle, a bullish one in itself as it presents itself, goes down, making that higher low. As I was stating, come back to like the 18 average of close. To me, this thing looks ready to pop and expect a move up towards well a test of the previous high and at the 21 level take care have yourself a great day